Chickity check, chickity check, one, 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 one. Opal Group and Wilson. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, you, my friend, are about to listen to a story. We only have about uh, close to four minutes worth of reel, so I'll make it quick. The Senegal parrot that was once my great grandmother's, yes. Well, his life starts off. He was born in Africa. He was about two years old when she journeyed to Africa with her fiance, uh, Frederick Her uh, Herzog. Now, this was be uh, her, my great grandmother, the Swiss side, Phoebe Hoffman, born in Switzerland, 1908. And that was uh, that was about five years before I was born. He was born, so two years after that, it must have been around 1987. She journeyed to Africa. Uh, she went to Cape Verde, which is on 0, 0.0 as far as the prime meridian and uh, the horizontal, you know, the equator and the prime meridian are concerned. It, uh, in geography terms, it's 0, 0 on a uh, GPS map as far as world globe planet Earth. So they went to Cape Verde together uh, on sort of like a, a date because uh, Frederick Herzog was born in Germany as a Nazi and he was a Nazi during World War II, and she thought that it was amazing that he survived, and he was still a Nazi, uh, uh, but he was not a soldier. He was not uh, 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 fighting for the Axis powers. He was retired. He had been to jail. He was convicted felon, and uh, she married him for the rest of his money and uh, to his death. Anyway, so so it was 1980-something, and they went to uh, uh, Cape Verde as a date, bought a parrot that was two years old, brought it back to America, and uh, she didn't like it very much because it was not tame. It was a wildlife parrot that some African uh, voodoo guy, you know, whatever, Cape Verde, Blade 2 monsters uh, picked up, sold in the pet store, random Africans, tribal Cape Verde parrot salesman in some cheap Cape Verde African tribal parrot salesman's shop. So uh, she she allowed him to raise it for a while. Hold on, we're, we're running out of real early. Uh, she, she, she allowed him to raise it for a while where he learned Tourette's and he abused it very much so. Uh, uh, he learned all sorts of very evil uh, anti-USA tactics for pro-Germany, pro-Hitler's Third Reich regime in the later days. Uh, he passed away they divorced or he passed away same time she raised him for 10 years that's where he gets all his tweets his whistles his cute side his night stuff and for the next 11 years he was a a steal your face in during world war three uh that lived with me and my three family members just a 15 minute for uh uh, uh trek from the fort trumbull uh state park uh united states navy nuclear submarine parking spot says so he became first a uh, wild parrot born in Africa, Cape Verde. He lived there two years. Uh, and then he became a uh, one of you, uh, sort of, Alpel Group and Wilson sirs, uh, for, you know, a while, off and on. And then uh, raised by Hoffman, Phoebe Hoffman, Albert Hoffman's first cousin in America. She was a Manhattan worker for 50 years. And then me for the past 11. So, uh, nextly, we moved into the apartment together. I moved in last October, and I've been here months and months and months and months. He moved in here. He's been here, uh, and his est best estimate is close to a quarter year. So he's exploring his life and his new settings as he had uh, somewhat similar to a cabin fever. He stared at the same four walls as uh, we, we'd play guitar, we'd drink coffee, we'd listen to the FM radio. He'd have to stay very quiet and never listen to the man upstairs. Check, check, chickity check. 345 out.